There's the human selection here for AI. Let's see. Oh my God. This is so easy. Artificial intelligence is changing the way that we do all kinds of things. And now that includes photo editing. You may have heard of Luminar Neo. It's basically a photo editing software that uses AI to do stuff that would normally take a really long time to do by hand. They hooked me up with a copy of their software and today we're gonna check it out and see if this AI photo editing is really all it's cracked up to be. I'm honestly a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Now this is a sponsored video and if you guys are interested in picking up Luminar Neo, you can find the link in the description. But without further ado, let's check this thing out. All right, so I've got Luminar Neo opened up on my computer here and I've just loaded in a few individual photos that I wanna try and edit just to test out a few of these features. So I'll select this photo. We've got three tabs at the top here, the catalog, I guess, where we just view all our photos. Uh, and then I think we can go to presets here and we have a bunch of options on the right here. But personally, I'm not here for the presets. I wanna see what we can tweak with all the little settings. So we'll go to the edit tab here and then, yeah, here we go. We get all these settings on the right hand side. All right, so this is the first thing I wanna try out. So obviously there's some power lines in this photo and they kind of ruin it. I just took this photo on the road while the car was driving. So I didn't really have any time to like line it up and make sure there were no power lines in the shot. And this is what I was stuck with. Now this might take me like five minutes, maybe to clone stamp out in Photoshop. But here we have a remove power lines button. And if I click that, I think these top ones are gonna be pretty easy to remove, but this one that goes across the mountain, I'm a little interested to see how that goes. All right, it took a second there, but look at that. It's, there's no power lines. It's just, they're gone. Especially that one that was going right across the landscape there. The ones in the clouds, those aren't too difficult to remove because the background's pretty neutral, but it actually maintained, like I can't, I can't tell at all where this used to be. We can see before and after, boom. I, I can't tell. Okay, what else can we play around with here? I like this develop tab. This is a lot like the settings that you can change in Lightroom. Now this says smart contrast. Let's see what that does. Interesting. So this is adding contrast to the photo, but it looks like it's isolating certain areas. Okay, moving on to a different photo because I want to try the sky replacement. Now sky replacement is something that you tend to do when the sky in your photo isn't that interesting. Like this photo, for example, there's not a whole lot going on in the sky. It's just kind of one hue. You can't see any clouds or any depth and that's fine, but it just doesn't make for the most interesting photo. Right here we have sky AI and then I guess we st sky selection. Okay, so we're gonna pick a sky here. Now the one that we pick is important here because it has to match the lighting of the ground here. If we pick like one of these bright blue skies, it's gonna look weird. Yeah, see that obviously looks wrong because the lighting does not match, but if we go through here, let's find a sunset one. There we go, now that is a dramatic sky. And that fits in so well too. And then we can use this to just move the sky around a bit, I guess. You can kind of change the position. You can also use these sliders here to refine the mask, but it honestly did a really good job of getting around all these little details. Look at this. So it automatically found the sky here and look at masked around all this, these little scaffolding things over here. That's pretty impressive. I thought it would definitely leave that out. Okay, now under enhance here, we have accent AI and sky enhancer AI. I'm not entirely sure what these do. Let's see what happens when we drag up the accent here. Okay, so it looks like it's adding, let's go all the way, just max it out, see what that does. So it looks like it added a lot of clarity. The photo looks brighter, but it also looks sharper. And what does Sky Enhancer do? Oh, it just enhances the sky, it added a little bit of contrast and saturation, I think that's about it. But look at how dramatic this looks compared to what we started with. Let's go before, this is raw, and this is with the edit, and this sky looks so real. Okay, moving on to this photo here, I'm gonna try the sky replacement again because I think we can do some really interesting stuff with this photo. So one thing I noticed in the sky selection here is we also have some night skies here. Look, we got these Milky Way shots. So I wanna see if we can turn this into a convincing nighttime portrait. Because if we can, I think that'd be really cool. So let's try this Milky Way here. Okay, so there's a couple cool things happening here that I really like. The first one being obviously it replaced the sky, but it did a really good job of masking around these branches and leaves. This is something that's really hard to get correct by hand. The next cool thing it did is it also added a reflection of the sky to the water here. You can kind of see the details there. It's a little dim. I think we can increase that though. And then the other cool thing is if we go from, look at these trees, if we go from the before to the after, the trees and everything along here gets darker as well because it's looking at the trees and going, these trees are way too bright for this to be nighttime photo and it's actually darkening them down for us. So this looks pretty good, not quite convincing yet, but I think we can make some tweaks to it. Okay, so we also have this other tab here called edits. If we click that, we can see the different things that we've dropped on here. So far we just got the sky AI and then also the develop section where we can do the raw editing. But I'm gonna go ahead and increase the reflection amount here to try and get it to show up a little bit better in the water. I like that. You can also blur it. I don't know if I wanna do that though. No, I like it better when we can see it more clearly. Okay, this is looking pretty good, but I think it looks weird because the boat and this setting in the foreground is still too bright for it to be a nighttime photo. I think it needs to be much more of a silhouette 
So we're gonna try the relight AI and see if I can adjust that. So relight here is supposed to use AI to detect the foreground and separate it from the background so that we can adjust just the foreground brightness. So brightness near, so I should be able to drag this down and have the boat and everything get darker, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's cool. Brightness far, look at that, holy. Okay, so we can brighten up the sky too a little bit. Mood, okay, so this is kind of cool. We can add custom LUTs to this, so if there's like a specific look that you're going for, or if you bought like a LUT pack from someone, you could theoretically import it into here and just drag and drop that onto your edit. Now there's also some in here already. I wonder if any of these will look good. Let's see what Tokyo looks like. Oh, I kind of like that one. I'm gonna turn the amount down a little bit. I'm usually not a fan of LUTs because they're just like, the reason I don't love LUTs is that you can't always do like a one size fits all edit for your photos. Each photo is very unique, like like a snowflake, you know? You need to take the time to properly edit them individually. So that's why I'm not usually a big fan of LUTs, but I kind of like this one, uh, just a small amount. That's why I turned down the amount a little bit. So it's not, see if I turn it up all the way, like this just looks like an Instagram filter now and I don't like that. What about, there's mystical and glow here. These both sound kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this photo because the mystical and glow effects here, I wanna try on a portrait. So this photo here, I did a whole tutorial on how to make your photos have this sort of dreamy glowy effect. And I did it in Lightroom and it turned out pretty good. And I really like this editing style of making the sunset photos look really dreamy and kind of blurry in the sides of the image. But I wanna see how fast I can do it in Luminar Neo here because the whole point of using AI here is not because you can't do these things in something like Photoshop manually, but it's so much more convenient to let AI do certain things like masking than to try and do it yourself, especially if the AI can do it well. Because bad AI, there's just no point. If you have to use AI to come in and do a mask, for example, but then you have to refine the mask because the AI didn't do a good job, you might as well just do it manually. First thing with this photo is I'm gonna go into here into the raw settings and I'm gonna make some adjustments here. If you use Lightroom or Camera Raw, this tab here is very similar to that workflow. See, so we have our basic adjustments here, we have our curves, then we have color, like white balance and stuff. So if you really wanted to, you could use this as just a raw photo editor. You don't have to go through and use all these AI features. You can actually just use this software to do like standard raw edits, which is kind of nice. Okay, now let's try this structure AI and see what happens if we drag this up a little bit. We get a little bit of clarity, a little bit of sharpening in there, I think. I'm also gonna use the crop AI and see how this would crop the photo. Okay, that's interesting. So it kind of just centers the couple right in the middle here. I don't want it to be exactly like that, maybe more like this, but that was pretty close. Okay, we can also add a fake sun ray effect in here. And if your photo doesn't already have the sun in it, this is probably gonna look really fake. But I think because we have the sun right in the corner here, we might be able to use this to create an interesting effect. Turn this up. If I go over the top, like that's gonna look, that looks fake. But if we take this down a little bit, add a little bit of sunlight here, I kind of like that. Okay, so this is what we started with. This is where we're at. Now I wanna try this effect here because this is very similar to that sort of hazy, blurry effect that I like to do with these edits. Can I do it just by dragging up the slider? Yep, look at that. And then what about glow? If we add a little touch of glow to this. Now down at the bottom here, we have this professional tab with super contrast. That sounds kind of cool. Color harmony and dodge and burn. Okay, let's see what super contrast does. Highlights contrast, midtones contrast, shadows contrast. So it looks like it's gonna allow us to adjust the contrast based on the brightness of the certain part of the image. Let's try highlights. Okay, and then what about some midtones? Mm, I don't want to bring that up anymore. What about shadows? Okay, that's pretty good just like that. I might want to brighten up these guys a little bit. I'm going to try using the mask AI to just select the couple here. Our AI is getting ready. Okay, so if I was to manually select these guys normally, this would take like at least five minutes, maybe more like 10 to get them like perfectly cut out using like a brush tool. There's the human selection here for AI. Let's see. Oh my God. This is so easy. Look at that, even though this is a pretty complex background, it was able to pick out all these details, even the flyaway hairs here, look at that. It selected them individually. Do you know how long this would take to do to get all those flyaways like perfectly masked out like that? Man, I am gonna be out of a job soon if this AI keeps going. And the only thing it didn't get was part of her shoe here. Okay, so now that the mask selected, we should just be able to brighten just them up, yeah. Shadows, no, 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 we wanna, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Wow, so yeah, AI is kind of crazy. And I'm really interested to see where it goes because it's only gonna get better from here. But it does make me nervous because photo editing 
is a skill. It, it takes a lot of hard work to learn how to edit photos properly. But this AI is making photo editing so much more accessible, which is an awesome thing, but also just as a photographer, a little bit scary. But I don't know, what do you think? Is AI the future of photo editing? Is it gonna replace photo editors or do we still need that human element? Let me know in the comments. Again, if you want to check the software out for yourself, link is in the description. Down there, you'll also find links to my other social medias as well as a list of my gear that I use on a regular basis if you wanna check any of that stuff out. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.